your palms make looks, but it's for when you're old and you have a belly and you don't want to pull the log like that. It's much easier. I think the technical thing is they call them field hooks now. Field hooks. It's like uh, yeah, we don't do anything. Um, welcome to Eleanor Lawrence Park. My name is Tony. Um, we're very fortunate tonight to have Mr. Michael and Mr. Mark over there sitting down. They're all naturalists here, so if you have any questions on the program, you can ask any one of those guys um, about anything. Welcome to Eleanor Lawrence Park. I recognize a lot of you guys, and I'm so happy to see you back. Um, for those of you who have not been here, welcome to a really neat park. Eleanor Lawrence is the name of the lady that gave us this land, and we like to mention her name because if she wasn't a nature lover like all of us, we probably wouldn't be looking at 640 acres of woods, right? Probably looking at a bunch of houses and malls, which would be good for some people. Would, would it be good for wood frogs? Probably not, right? Now, she gave us this land, but they can take it back. And how they can take it back is if we don't honor our commitment to protect it, which means in this park, we don't take anything out of here. The animals we see tonight, we don't remove them. We beautiful flowers we don't pick. We don't take home trees or anything. Everything we see tonight is here because people left it there. And that's what our main goal is today. Um, we're going to go out today to a really neat area that has a lot of vernal pools. And we're going to be looking for amphibians. Why are amphibians important? Does anybody know? Is it good eating? No. Amphibians tell us how healthy the woods are. How does the amphibians tell us how healthy woods are? You ask them? No. Yeah? Their skin. Their skin, very good. Amphibians breathe through their skin, which means... Hi, Dad. Oh, very good. Well, the dad gets some points there, right? Um, which means if there's pollution in the ground or in the water they're swimming in, that pollution that gets on us pulls right off our skin. We can wash our hands if something gets on it. If it gets on an amphibian skin, it's absorbed like a sponge, and then, then they die. So amphibians are called environmental indicator species, which is huge words, and don't ask me how to spell them, but it means they tell you how healthy the environment is. So we're going to be learning about probably three or four different species today. So what we're going to do now, if you have to use the restroom, Go ahead and use it now because once we, we're going to get into our cars, and we're all going to go up to a spot right down the street on Poplar Tree Road. We're going to park and then we're going to head out there. Does everybody have flashlights and everything? Good. Good yucky shoes. Good. So if anyone has to use the restroom, go ahead. Yes, sir. I'm dead. I'm going to get my nail. That's okay. We will not leave on that problem. Okay. okay. We won't, I promise. And other than that, we're going to go head out to the park a lot, and I'll meet you guys all out there. If anyone wants to use the restroom, they can go ahead now. Otherwise, uh, we won't be back to the restroom. So let's head on out. I'll